Hi, this is James from Mission, and today we're talking about using the Mission EP11S expression pedal with the Voodoo Labs Ground Control Pro MIDI controller and the 11 rack from Avid. So let's get started. So here we have the Mission EP11S, and this is connected by these two cables here to the two expression pedal inputs on the Ground Control Pro. Ground Control Pro is then connected via this MIDI output to the MIDI input on the rear of the 11 rack. Our guitar is connected to the front input on the 11 rack. And then there's a USB connection on the back of the 11 rack going to Pro Tools running on the Mac. So these are our 11 rack settings shown on Pro Tools and we're using the rig settings that came preloaded on the 11 rack from Sweetwater and this is the first patch called JH Rock. Now in this patch we have a number of different effects and you can see here that we have the wah effect into the signal chain and then when we move our expression pedal that's connected to the Ground Control Pro we can see that our wah pedal image moves as we move the pedal. Now we're going to show you how to set up that configuration on the Ground Control Pro so that this effect occurs. Now the first thing we need to do is figure out which MIDI values are used for the effect that we want to control. So I've gone to the user guide for the 11 rack and in the section called uh, Chapter 9 11 rack MIDI controls there's a section called effects and if you scroll down you'll get to eventually the effect that you want to control in this case we're looking at the wah and we see here wah and there's the black wah and the shine wah which is our two choices on the 11 rack and these are the two values you can see that 43 is the value for the bypass so that's the control that's going to turn the wah on and off which we're going to assign to our expression pedal switch and then here's the position this is the value that's going to be assigned, assigned to the expression pedal itself so that as we move the pedal up and down the wah frequency will change so as we saw before the EP11S expression pedal is connected with two cables going to the two pedal inputs on the back of the ground control pro now these both need to be TRS, also known as stereo or balanced quarter inch audio cables. When you look at the end of the cable you can see there's the three different conductors. There's the sleeve and the ring and the tip. And you need the TRS cables for both the switch input and for the expression pedal input. A regular mono guitar cable won't work. You can buy TRS cables direct from Mission or from Sweetwater or from most audio supply stores. Now once we've got those two connections made we need to configure the Ground Control Pro so that it sends the correct MIDI messages back to the 11 rack. To do this we hold down the edit button until it brings up the device menu and then we're going to bank down to our first connection and it shows here pedal 1 and this is where we have the expression pedal connected. And you can see it moves from zero at heel down, 127 at toe down. And then using the plus and minus keys, you can assign the MIDI control value. Now this is the MIDI control value for the wah frequency that we looked up in the 11 rack manual just a moment ago. So moving the pedal up and down, we need to control MIDI control 4 which tells the 11 rack to move the wah frequency. Now we use bank down again and this gets us to pedal 2 in pedal 2 we have the switch and the switch is where we're going to connect the bypass to the wah and if you remember we looked up in the manual that to bypass the wah we needed MIDI control 43 so again you can use the minus and plus buttons to set MIDI control 43, which is for our switch to bypass and unbypass the wire effect. 
So when I'm done, select edit again and yes to save. And now the Ground Control Pro will send the correct messages from the expression pedal to the 11 rack to turn the wire on and off and move the wire frequency. So now the switch is in the off position, so when I play, we have no wire just yet. But when I press down on the toe switch, that engages the wire effect. And then I can press down on the switch again to disable the wire. So there we go, that's how to configure the Mission EP11S, the Voodoo Lab Ground Control Pro and the Avid 11 Rack. The Mission EP11S is available exclusively from Sweetwater, so head over to sweetwater.com and get one today.